Thank God it's good to be alive. What a mighty God that we serve. Today we'll be looking at the open heavens as authored by the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Ia Deboye. My name is Akikumi Thomas. I pastor one of our parishes in Newcastle called Living Bread Newcastle. And our topic today is the majesty of his person, a Bible passage. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, as in the last days spoken to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For to which of the angels did he ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. But when he again brings the firstborn into the world, he said, let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, he says, Who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? But to the Son, he said, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The sceptre of righteousness is the sceptre of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. Our memory verse is taken from Hebrews chapter 1, verse 6. But when he again brings the firstborn into the world, he said, let all the angels of God worship him. Our reflections. You will know the majesty of a king or queen by the power and influence that they wield. That is why in the United Kingdom, the queen is described as a royal majesty. That shows she can command things and people will obey without questioning. If we can give such honor to earthly kings and queens, then we need to consider the one who is the king of all kings. The Bible says that a king of kings is the one that opens the door and no one can shut. In Revelation 3 verse 7, is the Alpha and the Omega, that is the beginning and the end. When his name is mentioned, all things fall into place. I pray that the name that is above every other name will work for you as you call upon his name today. The Bible reading of today gave us insights into his majestic personality. The Bible says that he is the heir of all things and through him all the worlds were made. He is the brightness of God's glory and the very image of the person of God. These and many more are the very attributes that depict the majesty of Jesus Christ our Lord. He is also the Prince of Peace. Do you need peace in any particular area of your life? Call upon his name. And as he calmed the storm, when he was physically on earth, and he will calm every storm in your life. Our prayer point, Father, let the majesty of Jesus be manifested in every area of my life from today onwards. I want to encourage you, believe in the name of Jesus. There's power in that name. God himself exalted that name because he humbled himself unto the death of the cross. What a shameful death. He, he became sin for us. And because of that humility, God exalted him. God empowered his name. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. So no matter what you are going through in life, it has a name. And there's a name that's above that name. It is the name of Jesus Christ. When you call upon that name, that situation will hear his name and will bow. And your joy will be full. God bless you. Love that name. Love that name. The name of Jesus is, is, is sweet in my spirit. It's sweet in my soul. And it's sweet in your soul. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day. God bless you. Bye for now. See you again.